Hello chess friends and welcome to Azarov chess channel and welcome to my HyperX Accelerated Dragon Sicilian uh, Defense series. So in this series I'm gonna cover this very nice Sicilian defense against e4. So with this uh, King's Indian videos that I've already created, I think then you will have a very nice repertoire while playing as black, uh, so against e4 and d4. And uh, I wanted to show you a really nice line today in which you could maybe have problems if you, know, if you don't know... Um, again this next move or the next couple of moves but uh, if you know them then you get out of this uh, opening line very easily so i'm going to show you what's all about uh, let's see now again this uh, hyper accelerated ranks it's in defense we have e4 now c5 knight on f3 g6 uh, d4 uh, c takes d4 knight takes on d4 bishop on g7 knight on c3 knight on c6 bishop on e3 and now after knight on f6, if your opponent takes here uh, this knight on c6, uh, that, that could be a problem. Then you take b, take c6, and he gets here this advance on over to move e e5. So if you don't know this, uh, this opening line, uh, I know many of you had probably problems with, with this particular line. And uh, here, of course, uh, is the problem. You cannot jump on g4 because your, the queen will take out your knight. And you cannot cannot also jump here on h5 in which you get g, uh, g4 and your knight will be trapped. The problem is also that you cannot jump on d5. There are lines in which uh, black sacrifice this pawn, but of course after knight takes on d5, c takes d5, the queen would retake the pawn on d5. So here the best move, believe it or not, is to move uh, knight on g8. Again to go on the starting square. And um, here I wanted to show you after um, uh, your opponent plays f4 here i recommend you to play the move uh, f6 uh, so this f6 uh, breaks really this space advantage that uh, white has white has already created uh, with this uh, with this pawn with this advanced pawn on the fifth rank so of course we, we want uh, to break his space advantage here and with moves this f6 i think it's perfectly fine then you can if your opponent of course takes you will develop again your knight with the tempo and the other thing is if your opponent doesn't react you can go maybe and develop your knight through the square h6 and then on a very nice square f5 which could then attack uh, the bishop on e3 so the first game in this line that i wanted to show uh, show you it was played by the legendary Gary Kasparov and uh, Vasily Ivanchuk. Vasily Ivanchuk here with black pieces. Uh, the game was a draw, but I wanted to show you uh, how Vasily Ivanchuk get out of this line very easily. So here after F F6, Kasparov played bishop on d4, now queen on a5. That's an important move which uh, indirectly also attacks here uh, the king with, uh, with the spinning chances here on the uh, on this diagonal and the other thing is that we are also covering this uh, d5 so uh, white is forced now to do uh, to show his cards and to do something in the center so here uh, kasparov played queen on d2 he played for this sort of uh, pawn sacrifice but he played on the fast development of course he wants to uh, castle queen side and then create an attack maybe on the e-file on the king because uh, black hasn't castled so far so we have f takes e5 by ivanchuk uh, f takes e5 and now c5 uh, attacking the bishop now he simply took out uh, the pawn and now bishop on c4 that's now uh, black's problem a little bit it might seem to you that uh, well black's never gonna uh, castle in this line but uh, here after knight on f6 and castling here uh, bishop on a6 very nice move uh, uh, we are attacking this bishop which is really annoying and which is covering this diagonal and also this f7 square uh, and here after bishop takes on a6 queen takes on a6 now we have uh, bishop on c5 d6 uh, rook on rook on e e1 and now uh Ivancho castled and in couple of moves uh, this uh, game was really a draw and uh, you see in this line i don't think you have any problems because uh, you have a very nice uh, central control with these two pawns you can also uh, you can also play maybe here rook on b8 uh, you have this semi-open b file you can create uh, create this uh, attack on this weakness on 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 b2 so I think this is this is playable for, for black so let's see now another example here um, 
I wanted to show you in the game again after uh, we have here um, e5 and then again knight on g8 and f4 we have again this move f6 so the and now uh, if your opponent plays here uh, e takes f6 so this was I, i'm going to show you a game it was played by borislav ivkov and puch stoyan here we have knight on f6 and bishop on e2 castling you see again we don't have any problems here we have possibilities to play maybe here d5 and then knight on uh, uh, queen on c7 and then after that e5 so we have a nice central control with these pawns uh, here we have kingside cast uh, bishop on b7 the simple development move perfectly fine queen c7 as i said was is the preparation and then after that to gain some space with move says d5 uh, the other thing is that we could now play here this knight on on d5 uh, then after knight takes on d5 we have c takes d5 so this is a very very uh, good and uh, central control with the pawns with we would then have a pawn on d5 uh, d7 and e7 and we can fix the position with moves this e6 so uh, now the, the position of course is dynamic both of the players have their chances but uh, i'm um, really uh, wanted to show you this important line with with f6 because if you wouldn't react uh, they're very good you, you will get um, crushed very easily in, in this line so I think this f6 is perfectly fine. So we have queen on e1 uh, here by Borislav Ivkov and now uh, queen on c7 as said and rook on d1. Now we have rook on e8. You see we are covering this these two very nice um, files f and e. It's sort of a discovered attack also on the queen. And here we have queen on h4 by, by Ivkov. Knight on d5. Knight takes on d5 and c takes d5 now we have opened also this uh, very nice uh, c file and we have now possibilities maybe to play d6 and e5 and uh, connect the pawns here in the center the other idea is uh, why we traded this um, this knight on d5 because we want to liberate also this f file for the rook because uh, the threat was for white to play here maybe the move f5 f5 himself so uh, here we have c3 uh, by Ivkov and now Stoyan Puch played here e5. This is now a really liberating move uh, because after bishop on uh, g4 we have bishop on a6 attacking the rook. Uh, the rook goes on e1 and now d4. Uh, see how this uh, um, how this pawns um, work really well together. They are now really attacking pieces and uh, this bishop gets now kicked away. We have bishop on c1 and uh, e takes f4. Uh, rook takes on e8, rook takes on e8 and now we have uh, bishop on f4. Of course you cannot take uh, the, the bishop because you get uh, bishop on e6 and uh, you lose the queen. So we, here we have by uh, stamp put uh, queen on b6. Uh, c takes d4 and now queen on b2 uh, of course now we have multiple targets here we have this a2 pawn as a target we have here this d4 pawn as a target so uh, this is now a really nice attack for black and uh, bishop on d7 was played now we have bishop on uh, b7 uh, creating here uh, immediately checkmate threats uh, so bishop on h3 uh, queen on e2 attacking the rook rook on d2 and now uh, queen on e4, uh, queen on f2, uh, queen on b1, queen on f1, and now uh, the queen is trapped. Uh, of course, uh, black would take uh, white's queen, so we have here g3, now queen to e4, uh, creating also here uh, threats on the h1, uh, bishop on g2, and now bishop on d4 was played, and here is where the position where Borislav Ivkov uh, uh, resigned. So let's see again this line after e takes f6 here, knight on f6, not a problem. Uh, as I said, you have you can play here uh, for the possibility here d5, and then after that e5 because you have you will you have this uh, three connected pawns in the center. So you should just watch out how how uh, to continue to play with them and be careful. Don't lose lose these pawns in the center. And I think this this uh, position is is playable also. So let's see now an example uh, here after e5 uh, knight on g8 uh, here f4 again this f6 move now bishop on c4 so 
white uh, white is trying here uh, to prevent the black from castling so again i'm um, i'm recommending you to uh, for you to take here f takes e5 um f takes e5 bishop takes e5 uh castling now knight on c6 and here queen to e2 this is now a game it was played in uh, 1968 between herbert sideman and bernard zuckerman so queen to e2 uh, we have d5 you see because we have this very nice pawns in the center we can create the simple attacks on on this um, um, on these pieces on these bishops and on, on the uh on the knight so we have bishop on g5 and now queen on d6 uh, of course protecting this bishop with with an attack also here on this h2 uh, square um, white is simply re relying here on this uncastled uh, black king but that's not really a problem because you have multiple pieces around your king and you have now played already this move d5 so uh, castling is now possible um, because we have covered this diagonal and uh, now uh, it's uh, white uh, to react because he has now an attacked piece and he has also here this weakness on h2 and here white played rook from a to e1 so of course he's also trying uh, trying to attack uh, this bishop so he would be here very satisfied if uh, if he could trade the queens but now black played knight on g4 again with the defense on this bishop but also with an attack on the h2 and so we have king on h1 and now h6 uh, by zuckerman uh, bishop takes on e7 queen takes on e7 now we have h3 and now uh, d takes c4 g3 and now uh, c5 um, uh, of course you see this is now the problem if you take simply then you get bishop on b7 this uh, is a very nice open diagonal for this bishop so here bishop on b7 uh, king on g1 and here we have queenside castle knight takes on g4 king on b8 rook from f to f1 and now rook on d7 uh, this is now this is now the position in which uh, white resigned because uh, he is a piece down and uh, as i said he didn't uh, get get anything by this early bishop on c4 move and i think again uh, this was a very nice game by black so let's see again this line a little bit so here after f4 and f6 uh, bishop on c4 so don't don't uh, don't be afraid here to take on e5 so f takes e5 bishop takes on e5 and here knight on f6 i think it's perfectly playable because white doesn't have any pawns here on this d or e file so you can play here on this simple attack with d5 but be careful if you castle or something like that if if you play maybe too early this d5 then you can get maybe this sort of sacrifice knight takes on d5 and then after um, c takes d5 then the queen could get here maybe with the check uh, and an attack on the on the rook and the king so be be careful of this uh, kind of line uh, of course uh, you in this line black didn't castle kingside but uh, this is one tactical possibility which you should know in this line so um thank you for watching guys you can watch my previous hyper accelerated rank sicilian defense videos and you can also watch my king's indian videos uh, in which you can cover your game against uh, d4 and you can also subscribe to my channel thanks you for watching and chess is the best of course